This is Mr. Beard, your instructor for your Bio for Non-Majors class. I just wanted to take a few minutes to walk you through the Blackboard site so that you could find everything in the class that we uh, will be going through for this eight weeks. Uh, keep in mind, since this is an eight-week course, it is very difficult to stay on task, especially since it's an online course, if you're not in the course daily. So make sure that you're logging in daily. We are covering about 16 weeks worth of material in an eight-week course. So pay very close attention to the things inside the announcements and inside the modules. If you look over here on the left-hand side, a couple of things in the menus, in the announcements, each, each day, each week, you'll see an announcement from me just going over the things that are due for that week. Um, I'll also push those out by email, so check your email frequently. Below that, we have the faculty profile. If you have any questions for me, you can contact me using my email address or you can also uh, contact me through the Student Services Office. Uh, I'm available Monday through Friday from 7.30 to 4.30. If you have a question after 4.30, uh, you can send a message to me, but just please expect a response within about 12 hours because usually in the evenings I'm spending time with my family. As far as course information, you can download the syllabus now. Uh, the syllabus can be, uh, is a, actually a Google Doc that you can print off and use for later, but below that I've included a list of the assignments and a schedule uh, for the eight weeks that we're going to be working on this course. Class does start Monday, October 13th, and you have a syllabus quiz due this week as well as two lab assignments. Every assignment, quiz, or test that is assigned for a week is due by Friday at noon, so make sure that if you have a lab that's to be mailed in, it needs to be postmarked by noon on Friday or if you have a lab that needs to be uploaded, that it is uploaded to Blackboard by noon on Friday. Each week starts at that noon mark on Friday and runs to the following Friday. In the modules section, this is a list of every module. As you can see back here in the course information section, on the schedule everything is listed out as module one, module two. But if you look in the modules folder, you'll see that there's a folder for each one of those modules. Uh, this is where you'll find your chapter material, your quizzes, your tests, and your labs. Above that, in the first module above it, I've, I've included the Zoo Lab. Uh, the Zoo Lab is available now, but it's not due until the end of the semester. The reason we're making this available now is so that you can visit the lab anytime during the eight weeks that we have uh, that we're covering the course. If you have questions about the modules, it's located up here in the About the Modules section, but I'm going to walk through Module 1 to explain some of those things to you. When you click on a module, you'll notice that there's going to be a folder for each of the three chapters that that module covers. If you click into one of the chapters, there's a lot of resources in here that will help you study and prepare for the unit that we're covering that week. Uh, there's going to be a Word doc that you can download and you can use that as you read through the chapter, uh, take notes, uh, highlight items, or add notes from the readings as you find them. There's a PowerPoint file for the chapter that you can download and view if you're a visual person. That's very helpful for some people to see the pictures and to see the content as you go through the chapter. There's also a Chapter 1 textbook website. If you click on those links, for the chapter websites, you can find pretests. These are not for a grade, but they can help you as you're learning that chapter and the content, um, as well as an outline and a couple of animations for each chapter. In addition to the textbook website, I've also included a chapter practice quiz for each chapter. Again, these are not for a grade either, but they're available to help you study and learn the information as you go through the, each chapter. Finally, the last thing that I have for each chapter, in each section you'll find different videos. Some of them are YouTube videos, some of them are Khan Academy videos that I've included, and a lot of them are from Bozium and Science. This is a really uh, great series of videos that will help you understand some of the more difficult content. I really suggest that if you have a hard time understanding content by reading the chapters that you use these videos in addition to what we're learning to uh, help you understand the material. If we leave one of these chapter modules, you'll find that each of the chapter folders is the same. Uh, there's always going to be a chapter outline, a PowerPoint, a website, a quiz, and then a couple of videos for you to watch. Because there is so much content available 
uh, it's good for you to log in daily and spend some time each day on the course so that you're always in the content and knowing what's going on in those chapters. Then finally, the last thing that you'll find in each module folder are the labs. If you click on the document for the lab, you'll see a download for the file that you're supposed to fill out. And each one of those files has instructions for the lab, the materials that are necessary for the lab, and it'll have a series of questions that you fill out. For each of these labs, just fill in your answers and then make sure you save these to your computer under a new name and then you'll upload them back to the system. In order to upload them, what you'll do is after you've saved your document, you'll click on the title of the lab, like this one, and you'll see a section where it tells you the points possible for the lab, and then there's an ass assignment submission section where you can click Browse My Computer, and you can upload the document that you saved. If you have any comments or questions, you can also leave those in the Add Comments section before you submit your lab assignment. All these instructions are available in the About the Modules section, so if you do have questions and you can't remember, um, you can always rewatch this video or you can go to the About the Modules section and you can see the instructions for completing online labs. One of the things that we'll, I will point out from the About the Modules section is that some of these items in red here are very important. You need to use all the tools that are available to you to make sure that you're successful in the course. Practice tests, uh, quizzes, out chapter outlines, all those things are there to help you study and prepare for the tests. Since biology is a very abstract concept, it's important that you stay on top of the material as we go through. If at any time you have questions about the course or if you have questions about what's going on, don't hesitate to email me. And I hope you enjoy the course.